Have you ever grown tired of riding? Is there a problem? No. Have you ever grown tired of constantly getting notifications? Well, I was. I was physically and mentally exhausted. I felt like everything was swallowing me up and bumping me left and right. I was blending into this mix of society. I needed the break from everything. I used to live in Australia for two years. I did a lot of stuff in Australia, but I missed some. And this is one of them. The end of the schedule dot, there is a always to-do list before I die. And this task is always on top of the list. Hiked overland track. I attempted once before when I was in Australia and I was a cheap backpacker, so I didn't want to pay for the fee. So I went just after the season ended. I hadn't done any backpacking that time, so I brought a lot of canned food, which was the biggest mistake. And the first night, it snowed. Probably that was for the best. Finally, I'm going back to Australia, and I'm gonna do this track. Oh, it's heavy. Do I look comfortable? <laughs> Okay, let's get the pass. This time, I bought the pass. Now we are at the Cradle Mountain Visitor Center. The overland track begins here and ends at the Lake Santa Clara. The total elevation gain is approximately 2,400 meters over a distance of 82 kilometers. It's a seven-day hike. I've never done such a long hike by myself, so I was worried. But I was also looking forward to venturing off the beaten track. Okay, my hike has started. It's kind of overwhelming because there are so many people. It wasn't quite what I expected. Okay, have you your pictures? Oh, no. Thanks. Hopefully, it's less busy and I can enjoy the nature a bit more. <laughs> So today I'm doing one of probably the best hike in Australia. It's not really that hard. It's long, but it's not hard. I'm getting tired of riding a bike, so this is kind of my break. I'm not sure if hiking with a 17 kilogram backpack is a break, but it was soothing mentally. Now we are going up to Marion's lookout and that's the steepest climb of Overland Track. Looks steep. <laughs> There are many optional side tracks we can take along the overland track. Like going to the Cradle Mountain Summit. Leave my backpack at the hut on the bottom and let's go up the mountain. About 30 minutes in, I realized that this wasn't hike. Lovely going up there. <laughs> this was rock climbing. About two hours of scrambling up between death and alive, I made it to the top. It was breathtaking. But there was something I was itching to talk about, and it's everywhere along the track. This is my trail snack, and this is not my snack. This is poops, and it's square. Which creature 
produce a square poop? Yes, there is one creature in the world. The answer is wombats. And I'm so curious to see their apples. I wonder when I can see them producing square poop. The world is full of wonders. <sighs> it's been probably about seven hours and my feet sore. It's so funny, I do quite extreme sports, which is mountain biking. And I feel like hiking use completely different muscle. After 14 kilometers of hiking, what I needed was a place to rest. It's a really nice hut. There are seven public huts along the overland track, and each has a bunk bed, dining room, rainwater tanks, and outhouses, along with some native residents. So cute. Stay in the hut is comfortable, but I prefer solitude. Now my tent is set. It's time for an afternoon coffee. So good. I have to take care of my body, so I'm gonna stretch. And I'm gonna use cricket ball. Normally, I use a tennis ball, but this is Australia. Why not a cricket ball? <gasps> this is so good. I'm pretty antisocial, so normally people go into the hut and socialize, but to uh, just stay outside and enjoy the nature. My first day was perfect. I had a no doubt that the next six days would be the same. But things were about to change completely on the second day. At the beginning of the hike, I was saying that overland track is not hard, but I realized that the people are actually doing those optional hikes and make it really hard. <laughs> I was going to do a four hour extra hike in the morning. However, it was raining. Since I probably wouldn't be able to see anything, I blindly decided to walk the sections of days two and three on the same day. So I could go on another one day extra side trip. So, it's gonna be a really long day. Probably 10 hours today. I seem to have a tendency to challenge myself. I really love going down with my bike, but I really hate going down on foot. It's not fun. I started to miss mountain biking. I thought of stopping at the second hut, but I already passed it. So I had no choice but to keep walking. It's getting sunny and it's getting quieter. Nobody. I love it. I loved the peace I had around me. All I needed to do was walk for 10 hours. My feet are sore. I don't want to walk anymore. I just want to just lie down there and don't move. 11 years after my first attempt, it was about to fail once again. My feet are killing me. The pain was so severe that I could only walk at slug speed. However, I'm gonna be arriving at at 6.45 if I don't stop walking. Oh yeah, it's a long day. Just like everything comes to an end, I arrived at the hut. I'm just gonna make dinner and go to bed. My body is just 
Hold <laughs> Yesterday was seriously the hardest hike I ever done. It was only 25k. I've done it before, but the backpack made a huge difference. And I thought quitting so many times in the last two hours. I didn't know why I'm putting myself into this situation. There's a fun part as well, like looking at the view is so nice. But when you are tired, you can't really enjoy the view. So today I'm gonna take it a little easy and have more fun. Without the backpack, everything is so much easier. Look, I can run. <sighs> so this is the East Pelion. It's gorgeous. And the other side is the Mount Osa. It's behind the crowd. But that's the highest mountain in Tasmania. We cannot see it today. And this is the top of the East Perian. It's quite windy. When I have less, I can be more appreciative. And with more time alone, I can hear my own thoughts more clearly. It's day four of day seven. I'm not really sure if I enjoy all this walking stuff. My feet hurt. I need to lift up my feet. But I really enjoy staying in a tent in the middle of nowhere or watching a deadly snake from a distance. That's a big one or sharing the trail with the local resident. Coming closer and closer. Even my coffee was tastier with the pain in my feet. I've never seen maximum one person suspension bleach. It's quite shaky. <laughs> Pine Valley was the reason why I suffered so much on day two. So I really wanted to enjoy it fully. However, I wanted to go up to the Acropolis, but I will try, but my feet is just killing me so bad. Somehow, good things in life don't come without pain. I could have easily given up. I saw it, this is good enough. I made it to the bottom of the steep section, this is it for the day. But I kept walking until I couldn't go any farther. Isn't it nice? There is nobody but me and you. I can't tell you how much I love adventures and challenging myself to see how far I can go. And this journey has pushed my limits a little bit further. I guess this is it. Now is the time to go back home. So today is day seven, the last day of my hike. Last 10K. I'm getting excited. I took two painkillers, so I feel great. <laughs> I just needed to keep moving forward one step at a time. So it's been tough, it's been painful. However, when it's almost over, I feel sad because it was fun, it was beautiful. 
But the adventure had come to an end. I arrived a little bit earlier than I said to Eric, so probably he's not here. I'm gonna go take a quick shower and wait for Eric to come. <laughs> you look a little rough. <laughs> Is it so? <laughs> Congratulations. But I feel like I deserve more than five minutes of shower. Is it only five minutes? Yes. Oh, good trip? Yeah, I had fun. Every step had a pain and... Every step had pain. Finally, I can take off one of my long wished goals. I just cannot walk right. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, I have a little scar here. Oh, what's that from? From backpack. Oh, what? Scratching? Oh, your backpack's not good. Yeah, but it's so heavy. Oh, you need to put the, some tape there or something. Yeah, I put the napkin on it. Oh, my God. Oops. Thank you for watching and see you next time.